Kabul, February 12th, the Taliban-led government in Afghanistan has approved a plan to assist the victims of war under which aid will be provided to the orphans of the Islamic Emirate and former government forces as well as victims of the past four decades of conflict. Under the Islamic Emirate, aid will be provided to martyrs' families, disabled people, orphans and also orphans of the previous government's security forces, Tolo News quoted Bilal Karimi, the Taliban's deputy spokesman, as saying on Friday. The families of the Islamic Emirate and former security forces who lost their lives in the 20 years of war said that they are facing a severe economic situation. Khan Muhammad was a member of the Islamic Emirate who was killed in a roadside bomb in Kabul about nine months ago. Muhammad's children are struggling with a difficult life. I don't have a breadwinner for the family. I am facing a lot of problems. I don't have money to pay the rent and electricity and water bills. I have a very difficult life, said Muhammad's wife, who is responsible for the family now. On the other corner of the capital city there are two widows of former security forces. The widows said that they are struggling to support their families. When I had a job, my life was good. I had a salary. Now the problems are a lot, one of the widows told Tolo News. The number of the former Afghan security forces who died in combat is estimated at around 90,000, but the exact death toll of the Islamic Emirate forces were not known. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to channel and click on bell for more daily videos.